Hi there. I'm Ronan Hatful, the musical director of Woods Vinegar Tong, a production we are taking up to the Edinburgh Fringe this summer. And I'm just going to um, show you a couple of ways in which I have written and put together the music for the show. Today, I'm going to show you how, to, how I put together one of the very first songs that was written and the first song that you will hear in the show, Nobody Sings. And it's a little bit about the influences I've had and how the songs have developed as the process has gone along. So, for each song, I started either with a bass line or a guitar chord pattern. For this song, I chose the former. This is how Nobody Sings began. And that's the primary bass line. Now I'm going to show you how I put that together with a drum track, a guitar riff over the top, and then another guitar chord pattern to fill it all out. Okay, so now we've done that bass line, let's listen to it with a drum track underneath it, which is the next stage I did after I'd written that. Okay, so next I added a rhythm guitar track. One of the things that I like to do when I'm writing music for the first time is even though I'm ultimately working towards teaching it to the singers and to put it into a band setting with three other musicians, I like to work alone first with just the text and my guitar or a bass. And I like to almost create this situation when I'm working on garage band, which is how I write music primarily where I'm almost jamming with myself. It sounds like a kind of a lonely way to do it, but it just helps me to get my ideas out there quickly um, and down as soon as I have a, an idea, as soon as a riff or something comes into my head. Now, this was a rhythm guitar texture that I came up with. I'm going to show you it first without the bass and the drum track, just to show you kind of how different it is, and then I'll put it on top of it, and then the kind of the verse part of Nobody Sings will almost be complete. So as you can see, it's a lot more of a groove than the bass line actually is. The bass line is very straight up, very trying to kind of just keep the song going along. With here I wanted something that was almost an offbeat, almost offset that driving rhythm of, of the song. Um, kind of uh, a fusion of that punk sound on the bass and the drums with a more funky guitar line. Okay, so now let's hear what that sounds like all put together. Okay, the final part of the introduction to Nobody Sings and then the verse section going into the main part of the song is the lead guitar riff which was another of the first things I wrote. I'll show you it on its own first because it's a very kind of thin part of the texture but then you'll see how it elevates the rest of the sound once it's put in with the rhythm guitar, bass and drum tracks. <laughs> obviously quite a different sound, that idea of uh, delay, that idea of something kind of chattering in the background, but I wanted to kind of create that kind of paranoid sound, mainly influenced by bands more like Rage Against the Machine or the Arctic Monkeys, which are more bands that I've traditionally listened to. Mm -hmm. 